Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. Uh, on my previous video I mentioned that I'm going to be creating a video every single day until game week one deadline. And as you all know, in that deadline, uh, which is the 9th of August, I'm going to be live streaming just before the 7 o'clock deadline. So around 6.30, maybe even 6 o'clock if I can come home really early from work. But in this video, what I want to do is talk about this draft that has Jamie Vardy. So it's a template that you can work with. So if you want to change a few players around, I'll show you guys a few um, different options as well. So here we go. So first up, we got Ryan in goal. Now, 4.5 goalkeeper, 15% owned. And I know a lot of FPL managers wants to move away from this goalkeeper and get someone else that is around 4.5. It's actually difficult to get. I mean, there is a new option now. Heaton going to Aston Villa. A good option there. And Pope probably being the main guy for Burnley. But for Brighton, if you really look at these fixtures, you know, with the new manager, there is a chance for one or two clean sheets here. I mean, there's two back-to-back -back home games. Uh, West Ham and Southampton. After that, they've got Manchester City. But then they've got Burnley at home. Decent, decent fixtures. That's why a lot of people are going with this player. Now, if you're not sure about the 4.5 goalkeepers, I'm going to give you guys another option. But before that, let's go through the defenders. Trent Alexander-Arnold, you don't have to go for him. You can change him to Robertson if you want to. He's just on my main, main team. Takes corners, takes free kicks, and he's been shooting a lot in the pre, uh, in the preseason. Zenchenko, 5.5. Um, Defender for Manchester City, a good option. Um, just a cheaper way to get into that back line. So, you know, just to get a Manchester City cover. Next up, Aaron Wambasaka, one of the best defenders last season. 5.5, 35% owned. Last season, 12 clean sheets, three assists for Crystal Palace. Now he's moved to Manchester United. If Manchester United buys Maguire, and they buy like a central midfielder or someone in the midfield to kind of help their defense. Him and Maguire is going to be great options. We know what he can do. He's a fantastic player. 5.5 though is a little bit expensive. And that fixtures, you know, for Manchester United is not really the best. But he can do well. If Manchester United buys the right players, then he could be a great option. However... I'm going to give you guys a, another example um, for this back line in a sec. Next up is Lucas Digne. Uh, 6 million, 27% owned, 13 clean sheets, 5 assists and 4 goals. Now, there's a few problems at the back for Everton. Um, we have to see what happens in the transfer uh, window. You know, they lost Zuma, they even went back to Chelsea. I'm not 100% sure what's happening with Keane. I, I don't know if he actually played the last uh, preseason game. I need to double make sure they lost their one of their best um, central defenders. So they got a few problems at the back, I'll say. I'm not 100% sure how they're going to turn out. But because this guy is taking some of the free kicks and corners, it's a great option. So let me give you guys a few different options for this back line. Now, if you don't want Ryan in your team, then you can go ahead and upgrade him to Edison if you want to. Let's just say Edison here. Then that means you have to remove one Basaka and maybe downgrade Lucas Dean to Coleman to 5.5 and get like a 4.5 um, defender. Um, but one of the best options here is maybe go and get Larisi. That uh, is 5.5. Remove one Basaka and go and get yourself a defender that is uh, 4.5. Now... This is going to be a massive differential, but to be honest with you, at the early stages of the season, don't look for massive differentials. Go for the players that you know that is going to play, that is going to give you the points. Later on, like maybe after game week four, once we find out how these players and teams are settled in, then we can make these adjustments and get the differentials that we need in our teams. Now, as for this midfielders, very powerful Sigurdsson, Salah, Sterling, covered Manchester City, Liverpool, Everton. Plus, we've got this captain rotation here that you can you can do. So Salah for game week one, Sterling for game week two, Salah for game week three, and so on. 
So this midfield, I know there's only three, but I think it is enough because the front line kind of covers a few other teams like Bournemouth. Now for Sigerson, 8 million player, 15% uh, owned, 15 clean sheet points, 6 assists and 13 goals. That's actually really good. Uh, a lot of people are thinking to get Richarlison. You can do that. You can swap him over to Richarlison if you want to because Richarlison actually does really well early stages of the season. But if you want long term, then go for Sigerson. Um, and of course, you have to keep an update with Zaha if Zaha moves to Everton. Zaha is uh, 1 million cheaper than Sigerson of 7 million. You know, that might give you uh, that 1 million um, extra to kind of upgrade your goalkeeper to Lloris or maybe upgrade one of your defenders. I think this team is looking really good. So I might even move to this, uh, this draft as well. And of course, you've got Salah and Sterling. Salah played 45 minutes in the preseason game against Lyon. So we just have to see how many minutes he plays in the Community Shield. I brought back Jota because Jota has been performing really well in the preseason. Difficult fixtures for Wolves, but they play really well against the big teams. They did really well last season. I can see them doing well this season. Um, they're buying a few players as well. So hopefully they can buy just like one or two more to kind of like help the team. But a great, great option of 6.5. If you don't want Jota, you can go and change to any other 6.5 million player. There is a lot of options, and I'm going to give you guys a few different differentials as well. You got Joshua King here, 6.5, 19% owned, um, three assists, 12 goals, which is actually pretty good, plus on penalties. This is going to give him a high chance to get more points. And you got Jamie Vardy, 9 million, an expensive, expensive player. Only 10% owned, 5 assists, and 18 goals. 18 goals. That is really, really high. Plus, if you look at that lesser side, you've got Perez. That's going to help him. you got Madison. you got Tillemans. you got Chilwell, Pereira. you got really good players behind him to help him to get more goals, more points for our FPL teams. So, this team right here, if there is, I think we only need a few adjustments to make this team really, really good. I'm absolutely loving this. It's got a good balance and I can change a few players here and there. And to be honest with you, I might even switch to this, to this draft. I don't need to have Jota, to be honest with you. I can downgrade him to a 4.5 million uh, striker. And get a midfielder if I wanted to. So let me give you guys a few other options. Let's just say, I don't know, Zaha goes to Everton. I think Sigerson will probably do better if Zaha actually moves there. But let's just say you want those extra money. Okay. Let's just say you want those extra, extra money to kind of upgrade another area of your team. So there we go. Zaha, let's just say he goes to Everton. That's 1 million in the bank. You can go and get yourself, I don't know, Van Dijk if you want to. Or maybe get, you know, Lloris instead of Ryan. Maybe downgrade Lucas Dean to Coleman and go and get yourself Edison if you want to. You know, with that 1 million, we can do a lot of things, such as upgrading Jota. Maybe you just want to upgrade Jota to Wilson because you think that Wilson is going to do really well. There you go, 0 0.5, no problem. You can do that by removing Lucas Digne and getting another Everton cover if you really want to go that route. And there we go. And you got Wilson, you got King, and you got Vardy. Really good options here. You can change things around. Or maybe you want Lucas Dean and you're not really fancying Wan Basaka here. 5 million. If we find out, what's Zuma? Zuma is 5 million. Let's just say we find that Zuma is going to be playing for this Chelsea side. 5 million. And you've got, well, you got a really good team. So those were the options. Let me remove Zuma for now because I think it's best for us to wait and see. 
uh, a lot of managers are looking into this player here uh, where is he Walker Peters there we go that is five million is he gonna be nailed on not 100% sure that's why we need to wait and see to see if they're gonna be nailed on or not pick the players that you want in your team for me this covers a lot and I can do a lot of changes I can go and get myself maybe um, Rashford by downgrading Vardy I can remove one of these 6.5 to another 6.5 so I've got cover like to switch players with one move maybe I want a another um, Manchester City player like Bernardo Silva straight swap from Sigurdsson to Bernardo Silva if the price doesn't go up straight swaps for these defenders this is what I'm talking about have a way to get out of the situation and this team could help you out anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed that if you did give this video a like subscribe if you're new trying to hit that milestone of 13,000 subscribers follow me on twitter as well so close to 3,000 and thank you so much guys see you guys next time see ya